I talked about the home runs. He gave up 38 home runs last year, most in baseball. Braves had zero in the opener, so something's got to give. This one hits solidly to left. That ball is gone. Ronald Acuna leading off game two of the season with a solo jack to left. It's the first homer of the year for the Atlanta Braves. And on an 0-2 pitch, he deposited it out of the park. It didn't take long, huh? To a guy like Ronald, that's going to get hit hard somewhere. Now they count 2-2 here at the top of the second. And this one to right center. Drifting back. That ball is gone. Three home runs already for the Braves. Yeah, you can see he's trying to go away, and that ball just spins right back over the middle. Ronald so strong. <laughs> Hits this one to left. Olivares watches it go. A home run party in Kansas City. And Peter, these have all been long bombs. That is 438 off his bat. A backup slider, and it was right into his barrel. He was frustrated, not getting in time the pitch before. And Ronald Acuna Jr. is the batter. Alcantara back to work, left center field. His first major league homer, Ronald Acuna Jr. strikes again. John Curtis was just recalled from AAA yesterday, and now he finds himself in the center of the diamond, and he serves up a ball right down the middle that Ronald Acuna just jacked way out of here. Did that just go to the third deck? Guy caught it in the first row of the third deck. The third deck for Ronald Acuna Jr., 448 feet. And it's six to one Atlanta. 448 is a huge home run. That felt even longer than 448. Ronald's last time up smoked it at shortstop. And he smokes this one. He smokes it so well, it's gone. Way gone. It's straightaway center for Ronald Acuna Jr. The home run party continues here in Miami, and it's 11 to 4 Atlanta. How about 461 feet? Yeah. Ronald saying, you're not going to face me for a fourth time tonight and get out of here without some damage. And he just threw the knockout punch. And Ronald awaits the 3-1 and hits it hard to left. That baby is not coming back. <laughs> I mean, just when you don't think. How about an encore, Matt? Acuna greets him rudely. That ball is gone. Second deck, and just like that, it is one to nothing Atlanta. Well, Ronald has hit a lot of long homers this year and in his career. Add that one to the ledger. 421. Kicks and deals. Acuna to left center. Kiss that ball. Goodbye. Second deck yesterday in Toronto. Second deck today here in Texas. And it's four to nothing. 454 feet. What else can you say about that man but my oh my. Cannot find the feel of anything other than the fastball and a cutter and I think the Braves have gone to school. Ronald Acuna out to center field and he has left the building. Solo homer. Tenth of the season for Ronald. And he's now homered in three straight games. That one 455 feet. Another cheap one huh? There are no cheap ones with this guy. Almost took his knees out the first pitch. Good adjustment, left it middle, middle. You cannot leave a pitch right there to Ronald Acuna Jr. because you will not see it again. He hits this pretty well. Get out of here. Yes, another homer for Ronald Acuna. He's done it in four straight games. Doing it as well as anybody in baseball. Listen to those boos. You know he's doing something right in it. Away stadium, check out this fastball top of the zone again. Ronald's able to get the hands to it. You see Nathaniel drop the head straight away. Man, what a swing! Gavin Stone's 3 0 pitch, ball eight, eight straight. Acuna to second, Olsen to first. Dave Roberts starting to get a little nervous over there. Look at Ronald. Beautiful. Ronald just took third. Muncy never even paid attention. Ronald just went. Watch this right here. Sees it. Look at Muncy's got his back turned. Gone. 
Ronald Slow played that perfectly. Ronald goes for second. Yep, he's in there. 20th stolen base of the season. Struggle major on throwing guys out. Ronald did a great job, got him. They didn't get a great jump, and it was a good pitch to throw him out on, and Ronald easily gets in there. Yes. Oh, oh boy. Ronald Acuna Jr. with a <laughs> tape measure shot. He had not homered in a couple of weeks, so he was due. He breaks out in a big way, his 12th of the year, and folks, it traveled 464 feet. This will be number 43. Ronald hammers it. Get it! It's another two-run homer. Well, Ozuna hit his 13th of the year, and Ronald says, I want number 13, and he got it. What a bullet. Ronald grounded out to third back in the first inning. And Acuna with a deep drive towards left center field. Marisnik to the wall, and Ronald puts him on the board. Acuna means business, and he cuts the lead in half. It's a 4-2 ball game. You telling me Miggy and Acuna aren't watching each other right now? I guarantee you that homer means a lot to Ronald personally. But that was a slider that he went down and put the barrel on. Almost on one foot, one leg, one-handed. There's a deep drive to center. Way back, fire away, big boy. Off the batter's eye. Another home run by Acuna, straightaway center field, and it's 3-0 Atlanta. That was a gorgeous shot to straightaway center. Ben, I hope you and I hope everybody realizes what we are witnessing this year with Ronald. Another just perfect swing on a off-speed pitch. You're not supposed to be able to hit these this far. Ronald Acuna to left. Back is Steer, and the ballpark will not hold it. 16th homer of the year for the All-Star, Ronald Acuna Jr. It's a three-hit night, and it's a three-run game. Now Harris down at first with two outs. Acuna to left center field. Kiss that baby goodbye. Four to one. Well, Ronald's sick of playing one-run games. He's going to let Snip breathe a little easier. A split. Hadn't even seen it yet. And that one just floated. Ronald Acuna to right center field. And just like that, we are tied. And Jesse Chavez is being hoisted. One pitch. That's all it took. I was going to say that fastball's been almost unhittable because of arm angle. Well, he hadn't faced Ronald yet this year. Acuna down the left field line. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Unreal. 3-2 split. He was able to wait a little bit longer and just continue the home run barrage. Ronald kind of sets that tone, start the game. He's reached three of the four times. He singled in the first. the party you thought the home run derby was going to be in Seattle in July but you were wrong it's a truest park on June 30th it's a 220 pounder Acuna sends this out to left field and he greets the 20 year old with a solo homer here we go again well July looks a lot like June it just the party just keeps rolling doesn't it <laughs> I mean you just show that 21 consecutive scoreless Backs up a slider. Acuna hits a towering fly ball right center field. Ronald Acuna Jr. electrifies Atlanta again. This one he tattoos to right field, and suddenly everybody's the tying run coming to the plate next. 6-5, the White Sox lead has shrunk. Ronald gets into this to center, and it's gone! Ronald Acuna makes 
it eight to one Atlanta. Well, Jeff, he had gone 10 games without a home run, so you knew he was due. I think he's still mad about being picked off. Gets a spinner again, a pitch up in the zone. 113.7 off the bat. And that ball got out of here in a hurry. Michael breaks for second as Ronald sends this to center field. And it's gone. Three to nothing, Atlanta. Well, he must have heard you, Brandon, say he hadn't had a hit yet this series and decided to really make this one count. He gets a hanging changeup. Acuna, left center field. Two pitches in, one to nothing, Atlanta. Crushed off the bat of Acuna. There's some early fireworks. Absolutely demolishes this baseball. What a start. And this is exactly what Ronald was doing during batting practice, destroying baseball. Acuna to center field. Does this have enough? And the wall. And it's gone. Right over the 400 side. A three-run homer for Ozuna. Now a two-run homer for Acuna. And it's five to nothing Atlanta. And he's a guy that finally timed up the heater up in the zone. Four to three. And Ronald Acuna trying to tie the game. Not anymore. Into the chop house. And we're all even. Well, again, Tom, it's all about approach. Yeah. This is a situation. You got the sinker baller. He's watched. Uh, he's watched uh, Azuna and all these guys. Darno shoot the ball the other way. Stays on it beautifully. And so much power, especially that chop house. We talk about it. he can do things that other players yeah. can't. <laughs> Ronald sends this to right center. And that is out of here. A two-run shot for Ronald Acuna. He's now got 29 on the season. And the Braves are back in front. Don't change those MVP favorites too quickly. You hear those Braves fans chanting MVP here. There's never been a 30-homer, 60-stolen base season in Major League history. But Ronald is one away from each of those marks. And he's taken off here. He's going to steal it. Even though Justice went to first, Ronald has his 60th stolen base of the season. Tried to time it. Got a big jump. Gomba picked off anyway, but he had no chance. He took too long. The only play was to obviously pick it up earlier, maybe step off and throw it that way, but had no chance. Ronald hammers this to left center. That ball history and Ronald Acuna Jr. just made history he has Major League Baseball's first ever 30-60 season and he does it in grand fashion and Atlanta has a 5-1 to lead and oh by the way it's only August 31st what a milestone for Acuna goes another one maybe yes yeah. there goes another one his second homer as a married man and it's two to nothing Atlanta that was a moonshot for his 31st yeah this one kind of just hung man that ball was high but you just know off his bat and you hear that sound and you know it's gone Acuna smashes this to center. Don't even bother chasing it. My goodness. A homer in all three games in the series. And Ronald Acuna is saying, MVP? That sounds pretty good to me. 454. Oh, center cut. Ronald's quickly become a villain out here in L.A. What do you think? Yep. And he doesn't mind it one bit. I love it. Ronald Acuna strolling to the plate to lead things off for Atlanta in the home half of the first inning. And on the mound, Adam Wainwright gets the baseball. He gets greeted rudely by Ronald Acuna Jr. It is gone. One pitch, and Atlanta has the lead. It's already been a tough year for Adam, and that just got a little bit worse. Ronald wasting no time. 30-second leadoff homer for Ronald Acuna in his career, and just like that, we'll see if they let Wainwright try to finish the sixth inning. I think this is out of respect for him, right? But you've got a guy who has meant so much to this organization for so long. Ronald Acuna right center field. Gone! Second of the night for Ronald. 
The Braves have 10 homers in this series, and they're all solo shots. I don't think he even got all of it, but got enough to get into the Braves' bullpen. Ronald Acuna leads off. Ronald swings at the first pitch, and wham! Deep center field, disappearing into the night. A home run by Ronald, his 35th of the year, and it's 5-0 Braves. What an extraordinary swing. My goodness, that was beautiful. To let a ball be launched like that one. Uh, back to back. A no doubter. First it was Harris. Now it's Acuna. And Atlanta with an 8 to 4 lead. A 423 foot shot for Harris. A 420 foot homer for Ronald Acuna. Michael Harris oh. breaks for second, and he can stop and walk the rest of the way. That ball was crushed. And Ronald Acuna gets closer and closer to 40. He's now at 37, and Atlanta has the lead. Well, it wasn't two pitches in action, but it was three pitches in action. I mean, that was crushed. I don't think Wheeler even turned around. Ronald Acuna leading things off for Atlanta. They only gave up four runs, but struck out ten. He's not striking anybody out here. First pitch, one to nothing. Well, that didn't yeah. take long. No, uh, his best pitch is that change. Oh, yeah. Ronald said, you know what? I'm not waiting for that. Jumps on a first pitch sinker right down the middle. Let it fly, Ronald. Acuna gives this a ride to straightaway center field. Step of 40 for Ronald Acuna. It truly is amazing. Look where that pitch is. His back foot, look how it comes off the ground. It's like a Gary Sheffield. Hammered, left field, gone! Ronald Acuna, another milestone in a truly historic season. 40 home runs. Fifth player ever in baseball history with a 40-40 season. Enjoy the moment, Ronald. I don't have a bullet. I think it's the most we've seen Ronald celebrate something this year. Almost like a relief that he got that 40th. With a 1-2 pitch. Then Ronald lifts in the air to right field. It's still going. And it's gone! A two-run homer for Acuna. And the Braves are in it. Down by a run. Just kept carrying. I wasn't sure if he got enough. Looked like it was at least going to get to the wall, but just kept carrying and going and out of here. Ronald's going. Oh boy! Got him through it in the left center, but Ronald stays there at second base. But he is now one away from a 40 70 season. So Ronald is down at second base with 69 steals. Ronald. Ronald rifled that one over the top of Nico Horner's head. A rocket to right field. His 104th RBI. Speed to burn at first, representing the winning run. Ronald goes. There it is. He did it. A 40-70 season. And a season unlike any other in Major League Baseball history for Ronald Acuna Jr. Pulls it up from the ground and holds it high. Man, that's awesome. A 40-70 man, Ronald Acuna Jr. That base is on its way to Cooperstown, I do believe. The only man in the history of Major League Baseball with a 40-70 season. Truly incredible. Numbers that we never knew if we would see in the game of baseball. But in 2023, Ronald Acuna has done it. Well, you got to walk it off now, right? Yeah, have to. I mean, the perfect ending. Well, you got the right guy at the dish now. Yeah. Last two walk-off wins for the Braves have been Ozzy Albies. The pitch. Swung on, rifle to right field, base hit. One hopper to Suzuki. Here comes Ronald. Here comes the throw. Braves win. The Braves have done it again to the Chicago Cubs. What a sequence. What a couple of moments. Ronald Acuna joins the 40-70 club. And then just a couple of moments later, Ozzy Albies delivers the game-winning hit. I mean, it's just a relentless attack offensively.